So let's start our discussion of thermal chemistry here, or at least our solving of problems in it. So um, you may see a thermochemical equation or a basic thermochemical equation, something like this. So um, methane plus two oxygens um, goes to carbon dioxide plus two waters plus 802 kilojoules of air. So what is that saying? That's saying when you have one mole of methane and it reacts with two moles of oxygen, you're going to get one mole of carbon dioxide, two moles of water, and 802 kilojoules of energy out of it. Okay, so you can think of energy as a product of the reaction, if you want to, like that. You can also think of it like, since you're getting it out of the reaction, right, it's being released by the reaction, so that means it's negative in energy, right? So you can think of, in this case, delta E being negative 802 kilojoules. Is everybody okay with that? <clears throat> you can also think of it like this. So remember, for every one mole of methane you burn, you get 802 kilojoules of energy. Right? So is everybody okay with that kind of logic process? So if we say one mole of methane equals um, negative 802 kilojoules like that, right? We have a conversion factor. Does everybody see that? So it's just like using the 1 to 2 ratio here in the chemical equation. So if we had 3 moles of methane, how much energy would we be making from this reaction? Could you guys help me with that? So how would we do it? Yeah, so um, the change in energy for the 3 moles of methane, what would we have to do? Well, we would say, what, 3 moles of methane? Well, let's do it 3.00 so we can have some signal. And then what will we put on the bottom here? Yeah. And at the top? Negative 802 kilojoules. So for every one mole of methane, it makes 802 kilojoules. Cancel, cancel. So what'd you guys get? Again. 